Tom, thank you so much for uh, taking a few minutes out of your day to speak with us. It's great to be here. So you're in Winnipeg for uh, Blackie and the Rodeo King show tonight. How does it feel to be back on the road as we try to move into a, a post-pandemic world here? Well, you know, old dogs, old tricks. Uh, I've been doing this for 47 years, so there's no surprises, uh, you know, except that the drives seem a little bit longer and uh, the cold seems a little bit colder. Um, but the audiences are making us feel loved. So um, I, think, I think more so for the audiences, they're happy to be back out in beautiful theaters watching music and people interact. Well, you certainly got some great uh, weather here in Winnipeg anyway for, for uh -huh. the time being. So um, earlier this year, Shane Belcourt's documentary based on your book, A Beautiful Scars, was released. Uh, has it been a different experience for you and your family to have it, you know, on film and, and at these festivals rather than uh, in your book? Um, well, first of all, um, Shane, Shane Belcourt brought his heart to this project. Uh, initially, my mother had no plans on being any part of the film. She wasn't uh, against it, she just didn't want to be in it. And Shane uh, appealed to her. He came over to her house with uh, some donuts, some coffee, and we hung around her dining room table and we talked. And she could see the clear light that he was bringing to our family. And uh, I think that shows in the film. As a result, he got my mother to speak in ways that none of us have ever heard her speak before. The, uh, the camera and microphones were almost like a confessional to her. And she said things that none of us had ever heard before. Um, she, if there is to be a star in a documentary film, it definitely is my 83-year-old mother, Janie, because she, uh, she kicked some serious you know, she, she, she threw down. Well, that's awesome to hear. And um, it, it's been a few years now since uh, the truth about your identity was uh, revealed to you. Um, how has that sort of affected your music and your art over these years? What's well, changed my life. There's a couple avenues that we can take when we discover our identity after 53 years of really not knowing who we are. Our blood memory is always running through us. And if we pay attention to it, then it gives us a lot of answers, of course. And there is uh, our true selves that are looking to manifest themselves in some way. I've done that my entire life through my music, and through my visual art. And now that I know that I'm Mohawk, um, that the power behind what I'm doing is, is even greater. The intent is sharper, and uh, hopefully the results uh, are, are, going to, uh, are going to help our communities. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have to leave it there, Tom, but uh, thank you so much for taking some time here on, on your busy schedule. I know you got a lot going on and uh, with your tour and everything, so good luck with that. And thank again, you. thank you so much for being here. All right.